guys, what's going on? Welcome to another bonus episode. I'm Jeff. I'm Justin. And today we are reviewing River Horse Brewery's Roly Poly Pilsner. Okay, this, this comes from River Horse Brewing Company in Ewing, New Jersey, just right outside of Trenton. It's a Czech style Pilsner at 5.3%. So I know I'm ready for a drink. I know Jeff's ready for a drink. Let's have some beer. Let's have some beer. So our beers are now poured. It's time to smell the aroma yeah. first, right? Cheers. Cheers. So there's nothing really overwhelming for me just off the bat. It's a Pilsner, so I'm not expecting it to smell like, you know, great arom aromatic elements of flowers and stuff, but you're getting a little little maltiness, a little of aroma, but it's not overwhelming. So there's a slight breadiness to it, but there's not really anything complex. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary it it basically gives you that aroma of your everyday pilsner um, but now I'm now I'm ready to dig into it you ready to drink let's do it cheers we're a little bit speechless because it's a pilsner but it's there's something else to it on the back end it's especially hoppy. it's a little bit hoppy it's a hoppy pilsner I was reading the description, and it has, it has Czech sauce and German Hollertau hops, so I, I've never had Hollertau hops before, but I'm Me assuming either. that's what we're think. having on that back end. Yeah, it's quite possible. The, the actual flavor itself is really smooth. It's really smooth, really crisp, light, and then you get the nice maltiness towards the finish, and it's just accompanied by those hop flavors that kind of just finish it out real nicely. The best way I can say it, it's it's an IPA drinker's pilsner. If you if you like drinking IPAs, this is definitely the pilsner for you. You're getting that good hop flavor, that hop presence, but it's not overwhelming. It's not lasting a long time like you would for a normal IPA. It's a pilsner. It's nice because it's a 5.3. I mean, I wouldn't put it in there with like a session IPA or anything. I no. mean, it's not that level of hops. It's more of a a hop presence that just kind of nicely accompanies the malts. It's just slight bittering to help with that well-balanced finish. Um, but at five point, was it 5.3%? 5.3. At 5.3%, the good news is, is you could drink a few of these guilt-free. So this may be something for me at least, uh, if I was to go to a party or something and wanted to drink something hoppy all night but didn't want to get trashed, I could have three or four of these and I'd, I'd be a-okay. <laughs> yeah, and River Horse in New Jersey, I mean, this is this is pretty impressive for a Pilsner for 5.3%, all the stuff that you're getting off of it. I like it a lot, and it's very, very good. So let's get to this judging. Yeah. Jeff, how do you have it as the aroma goes? So when it comes to the aroma, it's a Pilsner. So being a Pilsner, it does what a normal Pilsner does. It's not huge aroma going on. You get a little bit of breadiness. It's very light, doughy a little bit. Um, I didn't get any of the hops, which I mean, I didn't really expect to. So, I mean, it, it is what it's supposed to be. It's not great on the aroma front. So I'm just going to give it a seven. Uh, it's good for what it is. It's just not, it's not something that I would say, oh man, you got to dig your nose into this because there's really not much there. How about you, Justin? I, I kind of have to go even lower. I'd say probably a five or a six. I'm leaning yeah. towards more of a six. Just the fact is, yeah, it is a Pilsner. You're not expecting a lot of aroma. But the fact that there is pretty much almost none, it's just like, okay, well, I don't smell anything. All right, let's see how this tastes. And the taste just blows you away. But the smell just doesn't let you know anything what you're about to drink. So I got to give it a six. Not saying it's bad for, for having no aroma, but we'll get to that with the taste. Jeff. Yeah. So when it comes to the taste, you know, I'm not huge on Pilsners, but I am huge on IPAs. I love hops. I've had saws before. But that other one would... Hollertau. Hollertau hops. Say it five times fast. I know, right? <laughs> Hollertau, 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 Hollertau. See, I can't even do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but to be honest with you, I mean, I don't think I've ever tried it before. And not that I'm getting, like, some huge, unique flavor out of it. But what I will say is it's really nice to have that hop presence in a Pilsner. Mm -hmm. um, you're getting the, the sweetness from the malts uh, right on that back end. And the hops just kind of glides in with it. 
and it makes for a really clean, beautiful finish. The, the body, I mean, it, it's good. For a Pilsner, I mean, if I wanted to drink a Pilsner, this is, this is the type of thing I would love to reach for. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a seven as well. Um, it's not my jam, but it's still good for what, what, what it's trying to be. See, for me, I, I, I wanna go above, a little bit above that. I'm, I'm saying closer to an eight, and here's why. It's, it's a Pilsner for the hop drinker. It's the hop lover's Pilsner. It's, granted, is it a true Pilsner? Probably not. Is it a true, like, oh my God, look at all these hops in this beer? No. What it is, it's a great Pilsner for someone who likes hops. If you love hops and you want a Pilsner, this is one of the ones I would absolutely guide you to first because it's just that great. But even if you're a Pilsner drinker, it's really, really good. You're getting a little bit of hop presence, it's not overwhelming, and you're getting all those great Pilsner flavors, the crispness, the refreshingness, and just the very, very high notes of drinkability. So that's why I kind of have to give it an eight. It's, it's really, really good, and it's very surprising for what it is. That being said, would we buy it again? So for me, I probably would not buy it again, Ooh. but the asterisk on that would be if I ever saw it somewhere again, I would probably pick it up. Um, I don't think I'd ever go to the brew shop and say, you know, I'm looking for this Hoppy Pilsner uh, called Roly Poly. It's just, it, it's not going to be one of my go-to beers. It's just not something I would reach for. It's not that it's not good for what it's trying to be. It is a great beer for what it's trying to be. It's just not my kind of beer. Um, but uh, that being said, you know, if I went to a party and I open up the cooler and I see one of these guys sitting there, you bet your ass I'm going to reach for it. So I wouldn't go buy it again, but I'd definitely drink it again. How about you, Justin? Okay, so it kind of breaks down into two facets for me. Would I travel all the way to Ewing, New Jersey from Los Angeles, California to try this beer again? <laughs> No, no, I wouldn't. But would I? If I found this again, if I found was on the East Coast and I found this in a bar or a brew shop or some local market, would I buy it again? Absolutely. It's it's something that you know you can get people that like pilsners to drink. It's something you get people that like IPAs to drink. It's one of those that can you can kind of use these for both occasions. Say you you got a whole bunch of friends that are pilsner drinkers, IPA drinkers. I only want to pay for one six pack. There you go. That's that's the ultimate that's the ultimate decision for me. But are we traveling to New Jersey just for this drink? Probably, Probably not. not. No. That's gonna do it for this bonus episode. Yep. If you like this episode, don't be afraid to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know down in the comments what beer you want us to try next. Until next time, that's Jeff. I'm Justin, and we will see you next time on Let's Have Some Beer. Cheers. Cheers.